Hello, in this video, I am solving a gate question that is asked in 2016. So, a single line diagram, a single line diagram of a balanced power system is shown. So, here the reactance is 0 0.2, here it is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 for transformer and this is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 for line 1 and line 2 and it is connected to the infinite bus bar. Okay. And what all things they have given, we have to consider the voltage max magnitude of the generator internal bus is a constant and is one per mm -hmm. unit so they have given e is equal to one per unit then and uh, the per unit reactance of different components of the system are shown okay they are given the infinite uh, the infinite bus voltage magnitude is 1 that is V value is also 1 per unit and the three phase fault occurs at the middle of the line 2 so the fault occurs at the middle of the line 2 the rate of maximum real power that can be transferred during the steady uh, during the pre fault condition that is steady state condition to the maximum real power that can be transferred under the faulted condition is. So, they are asking us to find out the rate of maximum real power that can be transferred. That is, they are asking us to find out the value of maximum power that can be transferred under steady state or pre-fault. That is, P max 0 divided by P max at the instant of fault so uh, under the faulted condition that is p max 1 okay so we have to find out the ratio of p max 0 by p max 1 and what is p max 0 p max 0 is equal to e v by x 0 divided by what is e v by x1 because this e and v are given in the question and are constant so we can cancel out or we can say the answer will be x1 divided by x0 the answer will be x1 divided by x0 so we have to find out only x1 divided by x0 what was the equation for x1 x1 is the reactance at the faulted condition so under the faulted condition what will happen this is the reactance so i should write Right, draw this is j 0.2 then it is connected to then it is line or here also I am drawing with the reactants here also reactants the fault occurs here now so I am drawing it like this so this is my infinite bus bar so this is j0.1 and j0.5 this is j0.1 now the fault occurs at the midpoint isn't it so j0.25 and j0.25 so here there is an earth connection so if i am redrawing it then it is j0.2 and this is j0.1 plus 0.5 is j0.6 and here there are two reactances these are connected in delta so we have to convert this delta to star so 0 0.1 that is j 0.35 0.1 plus 0.25 is 0.35 and here j 0.25 this delta should be connected to star how can i connect this to star this should be my star connection so that is xa here it is a b and c so if i am redrawing it then there should be a reactance then um, there will be another reactance xa so this is j 0.2 xa now there will be another reactance xc and one another reactance that is which is connected to ground that is xb so what is this xa xa value xa value will be equal to this into this 0 0.6 into 0 0.35 0 0.6 into 0 0.35 divided by 0 0.6 plus j0 0 0.35 plus 0 0.25 we have to find out the value that is 0 0.6 into 0 0.35 divided by 
survive. So the value will be 0 0.175. Similarly, if I am finding out this 0 0.6 into 0 0.25, xc is equal to 0 0.6 into 0 0.25 divided by 1.6. 0 0.6 into 0 0.25 divided by 1.2 the value is 0 0.125 that is equal to 0 0.125 per unit and what is xb xb is equal to 0 0.35 into 0 0.25 divided by 1.2 this 1.2 is the sum of the three uh, reactances so 0 0.35 into 0 0.25 divided by 1.2 you will get it as 0 0.0 0 0 0.072 0 point. so this is the value and what will we get we will get it as um, xa value is 0 0.175 and um, X, xc value is 0 0.125 and uh, what is this xp 0 point 0729 okay so this is the value now what we have to do we have to again convert this star connection to delta connection isn't it uh, in order to find out because here there is a reactor here there is an alternator so the alternator value is uh, e angle delta and this is 0 0.2 then uh, we have reframed it as 0 0.75 and what is this? This is my infinite bus bar. So that is V angle 0 degree. So this is our circuit. Now we have to find out what is the fault, fault uh, impedance, transfer fault impedance from this to this point. Okay. So for that we have to convert again this to del delta. Converting back to delta. What will I get? Converting back to delta so what will i am converting back to delta my circuit will be e angle delta and here one uh, reactance will be there here one reactance will be there here one re reactance will be there this will be grounded isn't it and we will get v angle zero degree so this value is my x1 value this value we have to find out so what is uh, how can we find out this value in order to find out the delta connection here in order to find out the delta connection here this value we have to find out what is this value this is 0.2 plus uh, 0.175 that is j0.375 j0.375 0.125 this value so in order to find out this one this is our x1 re reactance what we have to do we have to find the sum of the combination so that x1 is equal to 0 0.375 into 0 0.125 plus 0 0.125 into 0 0.0725 plus 0 0.0725 into 0 0.375 divided by sum of the combinations divided by the opposite branch. What is it? 0 0.072. Okay. And you will get the x1 value. That is what will be the x1 value? The x1 value will be, solving this I will get the value as 1.15 per unit. Okay, so in the question, the value I got it as 1.15 per unit. So in the question, what, what we have to find out is, this is our question. We have to find out x1 divided by x0. What was x1? x1 is 1.15 per unit divided by what was x0? x0 was the initial steady state condition. Isn't it? So 0.5 plus 0.1 that is 0 0.6. 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 it was um, 0.6 and 0.6 in parallel that is 0 0.3 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2 is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 so what will be the value 
the value will be 2.3 so the value is 2.3 per unit so here we have to write it as 2.3 per unit oh this was a question asked for the gate examination so shall i explain it once more we were given the value of v and e and we were given the system parameters we were asked to find out the uh, ratio of the maximum power under the steady state condition to the maximum power transfer under the fault condition so we have to find out p max 0 by p max 1 that is equal to ev by x0 ev by x1 e and v are same so i have to rearrange it and i will get x1 by x0 or the for reactants under faulted condition divided by reactants under pre-fault condition to find out faulted condition first i have to convert this into star then again i have to convert it into delta so first i have to convert this delta to star and i got value then I have converted it to delta. Why I have converted to delta? Because X1 is the transfer reactance between the source and the load. So if it is like this, we can't find out the transfer reactance. So I have found out X1 by converting it into delta. So I got the X1 value was 1.15 per unit. And next what I have to find out? I have to find out X0. X1 by X0. So how will I find out X0 is under steady state condition. So 0.5 plus 0.1 is 0.6. 2.6 in parallel will give 0.3. So 0.3 plus 0.2 will give 0.5. So 1.15 divided by 0.5 you will get 2.3 per unit. Okay, this was a you know this was a gate question asked in 2016. I hope you understood. Though the question seemed to be very big, but the solution is very simple. You, we just have to concentrate on what we have studied. That's all. Thank you.